I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review of the NFAB Rock Rail Fitting All 2007 and Up 4-Door JKs. Today we're going to talk you through the installation of these rock rails, which is a very simple 1 out of 3 wrenches. These are going to bolt directly onto the body mounts on your JK, so there is no need to cut or drill anything. This is a simple bolt-on installation that you can get done in under an hour. We're also going to talk about the construction and a few of the features of these rails. These are for those of you who want to add some rocker panel protection to your JK, but also add a very functional step. Now, these do protrude from the side of the Jeep enough that you can easily get a foot on there, step up into your Jeep, and make it a lot easier to get in and out, especially if you have a lift on your Wrangler. However, the way that these attach onto the body mount bolts and actually just the smaller body mount bushing bolts of your Jeep isn't going to be as strong of a connection as some of those other rock rails that attach directly onto that much larger body bolt and also onto the pinch seam of the JK. Also, even on this longer four-door version, only mounting two locations on the Jeep instead of three like some of the other versions, all mean that these aren't going to be quite as strong as some of the other rock rails on the market. However, these are still a very well-built rock rail that are going to offer some light protection and a very useful step. As far as construction goes, these rails are very well built. They're made of inch and three quarter steel tubing that's covered in a textured black powder coat finish that's going to help them resist rust and corrosion. They're also going to do a good job of matching a lot of other aftermarket accessories you might bolt onto your JK and also the factory plastic black accents that are on your Jeep right out of the factory. Now these do have a fairly traditional design. There are a few other rails out there that look fairly similar to these. They'll have the one rail that runs directly along the bottom of your rocker panel and then the other rail that's separated by the square uh, stock steel with holes drilled in it. That will be your step and also offer a little bit of additional protection as well. Now, as I mentioned, these are designed to bolt onto your body mount bushing bolts. So those are the two smaller bolts that are next to the large body bolt. So these are going to do a good job of giving you, of course, door ding protection, but even more than that, some light off-road protection. However, if you do drop a big, heavy loaded four door off of a ledge onto an obstacle, chances are these are going to move a little bit. Um, there are some stronger ways of mounting a rock slider and if you are doing some more of that hardcore off-roading and you need a little bit more strength, I would recommend taking a look at one of those other rock sliders that mounts a little bit more securely, although they also may be a little bit more expensive and probably won't offer as much of a step. So there is definitely a bit of a trade-off there. As I mentioned before, the install for these is a very simple one out of three wrenches and you're going to be able to get it done in your driveway in just about an hour. All you need to do to get these bolted up to your Jeep is remove the four body bushing bolts that are existing in your JK right from the factory. Once you have those removed, you'll set your rail up into place and replace those four bolts, twerking them down. All you're going to need is a 13 millimeter socket and you'll be able to get this job done very, very easily. Now, these are a little bit large and they do have a little bit of weight to them. You can certainly wrestle them up into place by yourself and get those bolts started, but it will be helpful to have an extra set of hands around or a tall set of jack stands that you can rest one end of the rock rail on it while you are getting the bolt started on the other end. As far as price goes, you are going to be at right around $400 for these rails. Now, these are a really well-built version of these rails. As I said before, there are other companies out there that are making a rail that's going to be similar to this. But from a build quality and a coating quality perspective, these are, in my opinion, worth a little bit more than some of the other ones out there. These are very, very well built. That being said, if you are looking for more protection, you are probably going to have to spend a little bit more and get a beefier rail that mounts in a different fashion. Or if you are just looking for a step, there are some less expensive options out there. But again, if you are comparing other rock rails that are of a similar design with similar mounts, I think that these ones are very well built, so I think that they are worth a few extra dollars. So if you're looking to add a rock rail onto your JK for some light off-road protection, some door ding protection when you're on the road, and also a very useful step to help you get in and out of your lifted or even stock height JK, these are going to be an option that is very well built. 
So that's my review of the NFAB rock rails fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com. <laughs>